Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paula from PSEN Creations. If you are new here, welcome in. If you are returning, welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be a collective haul from the Goodwill, um, an antique store that um, I stopped at a few weeks ago and uh, the Offray uh, factory. And for those that maybe aren't familiar with Offray, they are the company that does um, ribbons and lace and bows and buttons and a bunch of other things. Um, there's a, a, an outlet or a factory actually uh, that sells um, maybe stuff that's discontinued um, or possibly even stuff that they have overage of um, in a city that's about 45 minutes to an hour north of where we were, where I live. Uh, we just so happened to be up in that area last week, I think it was, last weekend, uh, and we stopped in. So I got a few goodies that I will share. So let's go ahead and get started. I will start with the items that I got from the Antique Mall. The Antique Mall is called Old Glory. It is in Frederick, Maryland. And um, I go in there on occasion, not too much, but just to see what they have and see if I can find any deals from a... Um, it's more from a, a junk journaling perspective than anything else. I mean, there are times, for example, like this, that I find... Uh, things that I enjoy personally to add to my collection. So this is, and I will say, um, excuse my hand, and if I go a little slower, a little bit challenging times right now, but um, I'm trying to still do things. This is slow down my crafting because I am right-handed. So um, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and go into this. So I got this vintage Christmas apron. I love these half aprons, the vintage ones. I have a, I have a decent collection, <laughs> but this is my first Christmas one. I think so. This is my first Christmas or festive holiday um, season one. So, I mean, there is a little bit of a stain right here. Um, and it looks like, I don't know if it was purposely not sewn. Yeah, maybe it was purposely not sewn there, just sewn at the bottom. Anyhow, I don't know what year this is from, but I love it. And I can't wait to use it. So that's what I got. Um, and I think I only paid like $4 for it, which in my opinion is a pretty good price for it. Then the I think it was the same, uh, the same booth in the antique store that I got this from, I got these from, and these are just, these were in like their scrap pile because they have um, stains or holes, but you know, as a junk journaler, uh, it's okay. So these ended up being either 25 cents or 50 cents. And like, you can see this has a hole, but that doesn't bother me. Obviously it's, this is a table runner. So it's pretty long in length and it has a beautiful design but I can use this as layering piece. Um, I really want to try my hand at um, snippets. Uh, so I'm going to use some of this, you know, cut it up and use it for snippets. Uh, this is just a doily. Again, it had a stain in it. So this one's like 25 cents as well. And to me, those are good deals. Um, this, you can see the ginormous stain that it has. I think this is again, another, this is not a bread basket one. This is, I think, just another table one. But these are good layering pieces. And half the time we coffee dye or tea dye things anyways, right? So it already has half of the aesthetic that I'm looking for. Here's another doily. This one, I'm pretty sure had a stain or a hole. I can't remember what it was. But look at the, the pink on the middle. I don't know if you can see. It's a good size too. 
this one had um, stains in it. It looks like they're rust stains, like maybe this was left out and then it got some rust on it, but it also has a little bit of a hole right here, but it's not really a hole. So these are squares. So I can cut out the square. This could be like a snippet, not a snippet roll, but just like a snippet. And this could be the base of it. And I can just go off of the, the square pattern. That would be cool. Half the work is done for you. Here's another, this is so thin, such a thin, thin piece. And again, these pieces were all either 25 cents or 50 cents. Sorry guys, I didn't realize I not holding it up properly, but yeah, there's a hole there, but this could be, you know, on a journal, if you want to just do wrap it, the, the shape and the size of it would wrap perfectly around the cover. These are just doilies <clears throat> that either have holes or stains, but again, we can make it work. That one has a really big hole, but I figure you cut that right there. And then that's actually a perfect size. If you want to just add a little bit of a dimension to your cover of your journal. And then you have this one. So all these pieces, including the, including the apron were picked up at old glory, which is an antique mall. Um, that's about 20, 25 minutes from where I live. All right. So next let's move into the off ray. So here is, so just so you can see, oh, maybe you can see maybe I was trying to show you the name. So you may see these like at Walmart and maybe some other stores that sell. Gosh, it's just not focusing on the name. There you go. Off Ray. So these particular ones are just little roses. There are 50 pieces and 50 pieces um, and they're um, ribbon roses. And I think I paid like 30 cents for this, 30 cents for fi these 50 pieces. Then I found a bunch of, uh, oh, it's really hard to see with the, let me see if I can bring down the light. This is just lace. It is I think it's a yard, three yards, three feet. It's three feet, one and a quarter inches. And it's just white lace. Um, let me see if I can pull it out so you can get an idea. There we go. And so you know that white lace, we can dye, right? So sorry about the band-aid. So that's it right there. And I actually picked up um I think um I thought I picked up uh, oh I got two of those. Yes. Okay. I got two of these and these were again 30 cents. Then I got two of these, which is one and a half inches, three feet. And this one's actually open so I can show you. I know it had a pin. This one's like a, a cream color. And it does have, it's stretchy. I think both of these are stretchy. Um, but it is like a cream, almost like a yellow, but it's, it's a cream color. And here's, you can see the stretch. This was 30 cents as well. So I got two of those. And these are great. I personally use these for the edge of my journals a lot. Um, let me show you. So 
so here's a Frosty the Snowman little golden book that I just did. Anyway, so I, I use it right for the edges. So you can see, so I would add it there or since that one was thicker, this one's maybe a little bit more close to the, the length. So it just adds a little bit of dimension and character to the journal. Um, you can also add like this one right here. I could potentially add it to, to the front. So if I add something on the spine and I just want to add a little extra juice to it, I can add this. So lots of options. And of course, oh, if you're going to make snippet rolls, you can add these to it too. Okay. Then I got this one, which is just a thicker one. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I can't. Can I take it out? Let me take it out. It's fine. Oh, here we go. This one's beautiful. Look at this. That's gorgeous. This was 30 cents as well. And I could only find one. That's why I only got one. This is one and three quarters and it's three feet long. Then I got three of these red Rick Racks, but they are thicker Rick Racks. Let me show you so you can see how thick it is. Look at this. Look how thick that Rick Rack is. So this is red. Red, you can use red year round, right? Christmas, Valentine's, uh, Patriotic Fourth of July, um, or just if you like red. So again, these were 30 cents each as well. And it's six feet of the Rick Rack. And the Rick Rack is one and a quarter inches. All right, then I got these beautiful red little six pack. And I think these were 25 cents with a little pearl flowers. And then I got these 50 pack of little yellow flowers great if you're going to do like something for spring. I think these were either 30 cents or 25 cents for the pack. I got another one of those roses that I showed earlier, but these are lighter colored. So I got these that are more burgundy. And then I got these that are more of a pink rose. I got these Simplicity Vintage Patches. I think this is cool. I do make enjoy making um sewing themed junk journals so i will incorporate these for sure in some way shape or form i got these patches christmas applique patches um these i'm actually add to a a hat or a jacket or something for myself so and then i got this simplicity bias tape but it's a floral i thought as i'm working on spring junk journals. This would be very beautiful to use in some way, shape, or form. And then they had this boho trim, three yards. This is a blue. Look at that beautiful trim work there. And then I got a yellow one, and these are both simplicity. This is a two yard. This is like a mustard yellow. And that's what I got from the Offray. Um, factory outlet. I'm sure I could have gotten a lot more, but I'm trying not to go too crazy with things because I just have such a supply of things that I haven't gotten around to using. And I really want to make that a goal, goal and a focus as we go into the new year. All right. So let's move on to the last part of this collective haul, which is items that I picked up at the Goodwill. All right, guys. And then so for the Goodwill, uh, these are the items that I got. So this was just a grab bag. It was uh, $2. And I think this was, these were different days. So this may have been like on 50% off day or maybe red was a dollar. I don't know because I definitely don't need more sewing patterns, but I couldn't help myself apparently. So... I haven't even opened these to see what's in them. So let's take a look together. Okay, 
so we have this Betterick Christmas one. It's a little beat up. It looks like it has been used. Is there a year? 1986. Ooh, then we have this one that's a young girl's PJ set. And this one is from 1987. This is cute. I've always wanted to do a journal that flips this way versus, you know, the traditional one. So maybe I'll make this one my next sewing one. Well, little kids PJs. Looks like back in the day it was 65 cents or 75 cents if it was in Canada. So this one is from, well, this one's from 1969. So this one's slightly older. I always wonder, I feel like these are sometimes from like antique malls that maybe they decided just to close down or not pursue. This is a really pretty one. It's Simplicity, 350 in the U.S., what year is this one? 1982. 1982. And then this one seems much newer to me. The McCalls are really nice because their envelopes are much bigger. So it's, um, it's easier to kind of do, uh, use them as journal covers, it, reinforcing them, of course. But this is one from, I think the McCall ones don't really have, they do have a year, 1991. So this is a newer one. But yeah. All right, so I got those. And then I got these playing cards that are dogs. And that's why I got them. Because I do plan on doing a dog and a cat junk journal. So they just have images of different doggies and the back oh the back actually has all animals on it dogs cats donkeys sheep pigs is that a tiger yep but the front has dogs so we shall do something with these. Then I have this pack of flashcards. These are from 1989. They are not the long ones, but they, yeah. So, you know. I've not really done altered flashcards, so that might be something that's coming in a future video of altering flashcards. And some of these items, guys, if you're interested, um, when I have whatnot shows, I will be um, dividing out and selling some of these because obviously I'm not going to use everything. Would I love to use everything that I purchased myself? Um, I'll be 100% honest, I probably would because I don't go in purchasing stuff with the thought of reselling it. Um, but, and sometimes that's why I tend not to buy some of the stuff that I see because I just have way too much that I need to use. Okay, so here's more of these. This is something I definitely have way too much of and I really have to start doing something with or just getting um, sharing what I have on my whatnot channel. Again, my whatnot market, um, link will be in the description and I will also have a referral, uh, link in there. And just really quick, just to share what the referral link is, is if you sign up for whatnot, which is completely free to sign up, um, then you can, you will get a $10 credit to use on your first purchase. And the first purchase doesn't have to be with me, it could be with anybody that's a seller on whatnot. So, um, but if you sign up for whatnot and you use your $10 credit, then I get a $10 credit to use it on whatnot as well. Cause 
I am not only selling on whatnot, I also purchase on whatnot. <laughs> so anyways, okay, so here's another um, like doily style um, uh, table runner that I got. This is, a, I got at Goodwill though. Here's a beautiful green one. I mean, there really isn't anything wrong with this one. If I had the ability to use it somewhere in my house, I probably would because it's very beautiful. Um, but as of right now, it will be used for crafting. Deep forest green. That's beautiful. And then this one. Actually, this one was um, with the green one. They were like, both of them were a dollar together. So. All right. Then I found these Happy Planner Disney sticker sheets. Um, 288 pieces. They've never been used. So, I mean, some of the stickers are fairly large and some of them are not. Some of them are metallic. I don't know if you can tell from Minnie's bow and her dress. Um, everything is in here. And so this is one of the items that, as I mentioned, um, sometimes I buy stuff and I will share on my whatnot. This I will share because I actually was able to, they had three of these, so I picked up all three of them. I will be doing some Mickey junk journals, um, but I will be saving one of these for sure for myself. But the other two, I can share the love. All right, and then I got a bunch of, and I'm not going to go through all of them, but I got a bunch of Disney little books. And what I like to do with these personally, so I think these were a dollar. Yeah, they were a dollar, and I think I got them on 50% off day for that color, so I paid 50 cents for them. So that's why I got so many of them. And the reason why I got so many of them is because when I do my junk journals, I like to go in and I fussy cut the images, and I add the images to journaling cards or as focal point on pages. Like if I'm using a vintage dictionary page, I like to add a little bit of a focal point, so I like to keep the theme together. Now these, it looks like I could even if I truly wanted to, because they're stapled, I could potentially um, remove them intact and add these pages to the junk journal as well. But usually I'll have like a little golden book that already has the story intact that I will be just adding additional images to. So I have Dumbo, the Little Mermaid. And again, I get multiples because I like to fuzzy cut the images. And like, for example, the front cover, I would maybe cut it in half and the Little Mermaid would be one journaling tag. And then what is his name? Flounder and Sebastian, I think his name is. And maybe the Little Mermaid like design here would be a second tag because it's, you know, it's heavier. And then in the back, I could um, put copy dyed paper and, you know, that's, yeah, that's kind of just how I do stuff. Um, Beauty and the Beast and Alice in Wonderland. I have to do an Alice in Wonderland one. I have so much Alice in Wonderland. I will be doing like, I don't know how many junk journals, different types of, and themes. I mean, different types and then Cinderella. So that's these books. Um, okay. And then... The last, hold on, let me, let me move some of this. Okay. All right. And then the last set of items that I got are more books, <laughs> but again, they were a dollar or $2, but they were 50% off the color that day. So this book, Backyard Bouquets, gorgeous flowers. Look at this. And again, I'm either going to use them as pages in spring journals or if I'm doing a floral journal. Um, some maybe fussy cut. I mean, I think that's that's a beautiful image right there that I can fussy cut. That can be a pocket. That can be a, a, a journaling card. These little squares are great. Maybe I'll do like little clusters or something. So anyways, that's what I'll be using this for. 
actually all these books that's what i'll be using them for then i have a birds in bloom 2019 best of so these again were two dollars but then i got them for 50 percent off and that's my receipt <laughs> this has not only flowers but they have birds look at that look at that look at that So a lot of fussy cutting in my future, obviously I'm good. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. Um, there's a good chance that I'm going to have to wait until this gets better to be able to do it because it will, I mean, that owl, that's an intense look right there. Now, when you buy these things, you know, mate, look at that one. That's gorgeous. Perhaps you're not going to use every single page, but you get a good amount, you know, of usage. So now this I probably won't be able to use because this is a hardback, so the cover will be thrown away in most cases. This is uh, Backyard Basics, Birds and Blooms. Again, oh my gosh, look at that, just the first image. Look at that blue jay. Mm, just gorgeous. The flowers, just gorgeous. Just the colors. I, I love the colors. Look at that little guy. Look at that woodpecker. I feel like I saw that one yesterday in my backyard. I mean, maybe not that specific one, but. We definitely heard a woodpecker yesterday, and then we caught it. It, it was the reddest. It had the reddest um, head we've ever seen. We've seen woodpeckers in the past, but it was the reddest we've ever seen. All right. So then we have another one. This is 2020. The best of 2020. And again, just beautiful, beautiful images. So some of these might be too. I may just like pull some of these images and have them in like a spring junk journal paper pack oh my goodness look at that look at the i don't think you can tell do you see the pink in this like the vibrant colors of this hummingbird all three of them well i usually don't get oh this is a beautiful christmas one if you're doing a winter maybe not christmas but winter oh the owls People love their owls, so. Wow, oh, look at that. That's just gorgeous. Okay. And then I got some piano, uh, just music books. Everybody loves music sheets. I have, these are thinner ones, but they are vintage ones. This is 1984. That's still vintage, right? Yeah. 1968. So this one's 1968, 1984. I'm not sure this one's that old. 1992. 1994. And then the last item and book is The Best of Birds and Blooms 2021. And I wish I really could use that front image too because it's they're gorgeous, but I won't be able to use that. Look at that. So yeah, I'll have to see about doing like a bird themed journal as well. And then obviously my floral journal. This one doesn't have as many images that I kind of, that are popping out at me, but I'm sure I will find enough. Like that's just beautiful to me. The colors that pop from there. Oh, there we go. Beautiful butterflies. That's another one that I wanted to do. It's a butterfly journal. Haven't gone around to that. Oh, beautiful tulips. Oh, here we go. Look at this beautiful Christmas or winter bird and the winter berries. Oh, an eagle. Oh, look it. Okay, so anyways. Um, and that's it. So that's it. Uh, that's what I got um, 
it's from the uh, Goodwill um, in probably the last two times that I've gone. Yeah, probably the last two times. Um, so this again was a collective haul from the Old Glory Antique Mall in Frederick, Maryland, the Offray Factory Outlet in Hagerstown, Maryland, and then the Goodwill. Um, I believe all these Goodwill purchases were from uh, West Virginia uh, Goodwill. So uh, yeah, everything's about an hour in radius from where I live. So sometimes it's not a bad trip um, and it's good to explore. So again, in the description box, um, I will have my whatnot link and a referral code if you're interested. And if you have any questions, just let me know if you want me to try to explain or show anything additional. Uh, happy to just leave me a comment. And uh, if you're new, I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're returning, I truly appreciate your uh, following. And I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you again. Bye.